Hey guys, it's me, a little farfetched, and welcome back to Pokemon Gaia. Where we last left off, we were headed through this cave, trying to figure out what these new elders are doing here. Drained a tiny bit off camera, got on my team to 47. Taught a few moves, Trevenant now has Leech Light, no, Horn Leech, and Stunk, Skunk Tank has two new moves, one's Flamethrower, and the other one is Sludge Bomb, no, I taught him Sludge Bomb in the last episode. I also cleared out a few trainers leading up to our next town because I didn't realize it was leading up to the next town. So yeah, that's what I did off camera. And now we're gonna continue with the story. This is episode 11. I didn't even make anywhere close to episodes on Pokemon Orange Islands, I stopped that series mainly because I lost the ROM also because the story was not getting interesting we all know how the story goes Like, this is a whole new story. This is amazing. This is a variety of Pokemon. The Orange Island stuff. I really wanted to make it Ash's team. But then doing that kind of feel, felt boring. As you get this far, I'll take care of you. So that's why where you've been playing this game. And then I started Omega Red, which... Yeah, it's the same, I'm pretty sure it's basically Gen 1 with Gen 7 Pokemon and under. But also, that's cool. That's a cool concept, having new Pokemon to mess around with in a familiar, gen in a familiar game of mine. Because I love, I've, not, I don't really love the third gen games. In fact, I really don't like third gen games. I meant the remakes, though, but they're not my favorite remakes. But I've definitely played Leaf Green and Fire Red a bunch of times. Having a familiar game with all this new Pokemon and stuff is amazing. And just fun to mess around with. And then, of course, having a not familiar game with Pokemon up to, I think, the 6th gen is awesome, too, because it's a whole new awesome array of Pokemon I can choose from. Like, without these ROMs, I would not be able to have any Gen 7 or 6 Pokemon in my playthroughs. Well, thanks to Gaia and Omega Red, I can have, like, Gen 5, Gen 6, and 7. I think this is where we're headed. What's in the water of this cave? It's a Poliwag! It's not like Poliwag's a good Pokemon. I mean, I can't say that actually. Poliwhirl. Poliwrath really helped me win a randomizer of Pokemon Blue. It was my most valuable Pokemon, so. I can't say that Poliwrath sucks. I actually kind of like Poliwrath now. Oh, right! 
in front of this trainer. I don't think I have any. I have the ability that keeps Pokemon away now with my skunk tank. I think he kept that ability. I don't know if he had it before or after he evolved. Faint attack. But I know he at least had the ability at once where you won't encounter wild Pokemon as much. The opposite of Illuminate. Whatever it was. For some reason this thing is a flying type. I mean it kinda makes sense. It's got like little wings, but it doesn't seem like it'd be a flying type. Also, if you notice, like look at how high leveled our team is. And I think we just recently took on the fourth gym. Push out to Skunk Tank and I'll show off its newest. I think we just took on the fourth gym. Oh, we're farther along in this game than I thought. We took on the fifth gym recently. So we're headed to the sixth gym. I thought we were, like, already at. We were just at the halfway point, but. Apparently, we're closer than I thought, so I learned Flamethrower because it can learn Flamethrower. Skunk Tank can. Also, I'm pretty sure it was Skunk Tank on my team. Oh, what's his name? It's the Pokemon. What's its name? Empoleon is no longer the only male Pokemon on my team. Now with Skunk Tank. Sludge Bomb isn't physical, I'm pretty sure. And it wasn't. Caracosta. Oh no, Avalog was male. Looks like we have an even split between male and female. I didn't even realize that happened. Thunder Fang. Looks like it'll just not learn any good moves. Well, any better moves. I mean, it's got the good Thunder Fang and Crunch, but... Then Tackle? And... Baby Doll Eyes? Or what is that? Doll Eyes. Like, not really the best time. Not really the best moves. I don't even know if I'm headed the right way. I think I might be. But I also might not be. It's definitely a possibility. Armaldo. That's just like, I think it's a bug and rock type. Let's try our flamethrower. It's not a bug and rock type. It's definitely a rock type, all the fossil Pokemon are. Hey, no. Don't do that. Also, I'm happy because I decided to do some more shiny hunting on... What game is it? Pokemon Ultra Sun Moon, and I found a shiny today. The day I'm recording this, not the day I'm uploading this.
because it will probably be uploaded way after. Ooh, that's not good, 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 that's not good. Uh, and pull on, let's go. Huh. I think it needs to be a little bit louder. I don't know why. It seemed a little quiet. Well, actually, hold on. Let me just... Grab a good middle point. No! Please don't you think about healing it. Good. No, you heal cradily. Yeah, I think I'm headed the right way. Pretty, yep. You must be the vigilante child. I was vigilant child I was warned about. You're an aide to Professor Redwood, correct? How saddening. I would think someone with his smarts would understand our aims. A shame indeed. You see, these are not the actions of some cult. We are merely accelerating the plans of nature herself. The others of Orbtus understood the sanctity of our culture. In fact, this was this very chamber was designed by the elders. And what fantastic architects they were. It will take a millennium for you to break through this wall. Uh-oh, I remember this wall being a puzzle. Okay, so, I don't understand. Okay, it's... I don't know if the person I'm reading this from is right. Okay, that code's wrong. Maybe it's this one. Yes. So someone on Reddit said... Someone on Reddit post for this said that... It was the weight of Reggie Gigas. No, Reggie Steel. Which is four or five... Four hundred fifty one... Point nine pounds. So thank you, a talking shoe on Reddit. Impressive, perhaps I misunderstood you. You did not quite take a millennium. Nevertheless, I now have what I came for, and now I'll crush you. Oh, you've got five Pokemon. What perfect you send out? Is oh, that's a little bit not healed. Luckily, in the next town that I visited, we got these items. <laughs> the next town had full restores already. Kinda scared what comes next, actually. Now that I think about it. No, I don't want to heal. I don't want to heal. I remember hearing that door puzzle was, like, impossible, unless you, like, get the answer, so... First Pokemon taken down. Played off. That's a, 
a psychic type, I think. Uh, perfect. Next up, Akron. I know. Pokemon to send out. Okay. Surf. Oh no, you're gonna you're gonna make a sound. That's that's not really actually that good. That's not good. That means you're a pure steel type now. I believe. I believe he's just pure steel type. That's a lot of damage, actually. Uh-oh. I think that's our first death that we've had in a long time. If I can be faster, that will be helpful. And it is. Great Dilly, uh, is that, is that a Pokemon? I'm trying to remember what typing it is. Psychic, I'll just use Psychic, that will definitely work. Look at that. We're not even to the 6th gym yet, and, like, the levels are already starting to jump up to, like, almost 40, almost 50 now. Like, what is the Elite 4 gonna be? Like, at this point, I'm guessing, like, level 80? Almost 70? Maybe 80? That seems like a good guess. And... We won the battle. By a tiny bit. This... How... Grr. You're just a speed bump in our plans. We've achieved every single one of our goals despite your childish efforts to stop us. The new elders will bring this putrid world to its knees. And here's a promise, kid. Once I just do a fully awakens, you'll be the first to feel my wrath. You will rule this day. There you are. I just saw the new elders leaving. Let me guess. You sent them running, right? You know, I shouldn't have hesitated eating here. I missed out on the sweet fetch action again. Drinking inside. Healed. So they captured Registeel. That means they have all three. What could be more... What could... What more could there be to their plans? Well, I don't know. What we can do is train in preparation. Did you hear about Persimos Island's new gym leader? I was just there. 
probably be the new champ if you try it. You just need three more badges for it at this point, right? Think it over, eh? I know how to get to that place. I cleared all the trainers over here. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Let me just heal my Pokemon. I don't know. Oh, right into the gym. I went to the first one's gym. Times have been tugging around here recently, although Jim made it retired. The replacement came through just now. I can't tell you how much, but the players still use the psychic types. Ghost Dark and Bug types. Unfortunately, all I have is. Revenant. And also, if I really wanted to, uh, what's his name? What's right here? Yeah. Oh no, you foresaw an attack. What? I just walked on air. That actually scared me. I actually was legitimately scared. I was like, wait, I'm looking on air. How is this possible? That was one hit. Woodhammer. Y'all learned this move. What is it? That's better than Horn Leech. Hypno. Yep. Oh, I can't go there. Because I can't pass. Because he's in my way and I can't pass past him. I can't pass past him. But he, um...
terrifying as it is. Well, if you first saw the leader quitting, then why did you say something before? You wanted him to quit, I know you did. What was this thing? Roshana? Oh yeah, this creepy thing. You're in control of your destiny. This way. Okay, after I get him to level 50, I'm gonna switch. He's getting a little over level now. Look at that, Trevenant's finally important. I'm gonna be honest here, he really wasn't being so helpful before all this, but now he is. Which is fine, really, I just... It's way too many dreams. We're doing good on the time, I'm not gonna make this that much over 30 minutes, though. I don't want to have another hour episode, but we're not going to, because I'm ending it after the gym. That's not right. Welcome to the Priscimo's Gym. I'm going to myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world. Most recently, I left the Cancer region to explore Orbitus. I took it this post to prove my love for Psychotype Pokemon. This is... Will from the Elite Four. I remember this guy. Pokemon Soul Silver Elite Four has anything to say about it, he will have two Zatu, a Jinx, an Executor, and a Slowbro.
I think it's actually having something to say with it. We're two for two. <gasps> three for three. Only two more. Can we get a four for four? Oh, Matic Girl, she ruined it. Matic Girl is why he was so close. Integrate. That's the word. Integrate characters from the old games. From the games that we know. So he replaced his second Zantu with a Metagross, which is fine. It's actually better than just having a second Zantu. Zantu. Actually, I want to try out this new move. He's also got Mega Evolution. That's different too. Not a hammer. Oh yeah, that's the downfall to this move. It does damage to you. I I can't believe it. The rumors of unknown in Orbitus drew me here. You have maybe want to stay. The focus badge. This he doesn't give you any badge, so it doesn't make sense why I'm trying to see if he actually gives you the badge. You take control of your destiny. This is the hallmark of a powerful trainer. Take this. Is it... Call Mind? So, where do we go next? He usually tells us. I'm kinda stuck, I don't know where to go next. Oh yeah, that's why I think we already only took four gems, because the bug gem is so close to the sewer gem that... They seemed like... It seemed like the sewer gem was the fourth gem. So that's it for today's episode. I don't know what we're doing next time, because, of course, the story just doesn't want to progress. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.